What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy D Neil and Mackenzie back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Only Fools and Horses Miami Twice Part Three. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. Let's do this. Gossip about this. <laughs> I've made a few mistakes in the past, you know? I mean, so nobody's perfect. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, you listening to me? My father, God bless that man's spirit. When he arrived on these shores from Sicily in 1930, this was a land of democracy and law and order. Now, he fought to change all that. <laughs> Amounted to huh? Zilch. That's what. Zilcha. <laughs> Salvatore, you call yourself a lawyer, you're a schmuck. And that goes for you too, Rico. If your mother was alive today, God bless that woman so she would disown you. Come on, huh? I tell you this, Rico, huh? Never thought I'd see the day when a son of mine would be willing to stand back and watch his own father spend the rest of his life in the state pen sharing meatloaves with the faggots, huh? Shall I tell you what'll happen if I go down? All the families will be carving up our empire of dogs fighting over a wee rose. Every married little punk from Little Havana will be trying to get a slice of the action. And what about the Colombian, huh? What Colombian? What Colombian, he says. Jerk, Salvatore. Just sit down, will you? Just sit down. Next week, Senor Vasquez arrives here from Colombia to settle our little deal. What do you think he's gonna do? He thinks I've gone down the tube. Very nervous about the future. <laughs> you know that? That's fifty gas. That's caused by nervous exhaustion. Whatever happened to the ancient Sicilian traditions of bribery, blackmail, and intimidation, huh? <laughs> it's not a local police investigation. This is the FBI. And we can't pay those guys off. The jury's locked up in a guarded hotel. The witness has got round-the-clock protection. We just can't reach anybody. Hmm. Well, maybe I ought to do something about it myself then, huh? You can't, Pop. The police surveillance team is watching every move you make. They even got a TV camera crew filming you for a documentary. They're filming? They're filming me? What do you think I am, a common criminal or something? <laughs> <laughs> I, you I want you to take some of the money from the family account, and I want you to buy me a DA. All right, you buy me the judge, you buy me the senator. A lot of people in this town owe me favors. I want these favors retired. We tried. And so far, there have been no takers. It looks like people are turning their backs on you. That is a very impolite and highly dangerous thing to do. This is what I want you to do. I want you to keep searching and I want you to keep thinking. Because somewhere, somewhere out there lies the answer to my problems. <laughs> you couldn't go near that unless you had all your own teeth, would you? Look at the They say that smoking's bad for your chest. <laughs> <laughs> As you may know, Miami has been nicknamed Cocainesville, and the officers of Biscayne Bay fight an all-year-round battle with the drug runners. And coming up on your left, you will see the home of Barry Gibbs, the lead singer of the Bee Gees. Look! What does look? Look there, look! It's a real life Bee Gees! Oopsie, I... It's my fucking garden! No, no, it's him, it's him, it's Barry Gibbs, it is! All right, Basha! <laughs> Her feet is your love! Is your love, We need all this. <laughs> I reckon you're just right, brothers. It's the most popular gardener. 
There's plenty of time to get in the old campsite. There's also plenty of time for you to get drunk after we've booked tea. <laughs> you enjoy putting me down, don't you? <laughs> you think I'm just a one-dimensional sort of person, don't you? Well, you're wrong. The only reason I want to go into that club is to make a telephone call. Because I promised Raquel that I would phone her as soon as we arrive. And what's wrong with the public call box over there? Well, you can't get a drink in there, can you? What do we do with our luggage? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we bring it with us and we can put it in the middle of the dance floor and boogie round it, but then sort of the legs in and have a disco with their handbags. <laughs> well... Oi, you're talking about disco and boogie. Don't I am not boogie. Well, please keep your voice down. Remember, we're ambassadors for our country. Don't want these people thinking we're laugh but do we? <laughs> That it is for you to find an alibi for my butt. I don't have to find your father an alibi. I have to find him nine alibis. <laughs> How can the Justice Department treat him like this? Don't they know who he is? Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> the moment the jury for this is guilty, the war begins. Maybe not. But you keep saying maybe not. What do you think the rest of the family's gonna sit back on their butts and pretend the old man is still in power? They're gonna go to war. Am I right, Paulie? You're right, Rico. Am I right, Tony? You're right, Rico. Am I right, Lurch? Maybe not. You see? <laughs> There's gonna be a war. Senor Ricardo. Francesco, can't you see I'm in a meeting here? I'm sorry to interrupt, Senor, but I would like to explain. If I had known that he was coming here tonight, I would have arranged for a private room. If you don't know who was coming here tonight, your, your father. My father. Is this some kind of joke, Frankie? Don't know Kitty is under virtual house arrest. He can't get to the john without the police telling him. But he is here. See for yourself. <laughs> oh, lovely job, Lee. How much do we owe you? Please, it's on the house. You're my guest. Would you like to eat? Oh, uh, no, thanks. Great summit earlier. I see. If there's anything that you should require, as always, I am at your service. Big mouth. <laughs> I expect the grub would most probably be free, you know. <laughs> you know what we're dealing with here? What? American hospitality. <laughs> well, the most friendliest people in the entire world. Come on, come on. Yo, Gino, it's Tony. Hey, is the Don there? He's in the pool. 
Can you actually see it? Good. That's it. Oh. The guy over there ain't there. <laughs> Listen, carefully. Tell my father to stay in his room till I get back tonight. Just tell him I may have a surprise for him. Strange, that. I mean, here you are in a tropical climate, wearing a worsted polyester blue serge suit, and you feel off. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Hi. How you guys doing? Yeah. All right. So, great right time smashing, thank you. Yeah. Let me guess. You're not local. No. Whoa! I didn't realize it was so late. We gotta be going soon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rodney. Right. Uh, no boy. Here we go. I'll tell you, Jimmy, myself, it's been really, really great meeting you guys. It really has. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And uh, we enjoyed your company and everything. Yeah. Anyway, we've got to go. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see you later then. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it's been great. What a blinding night, isn't it, brother? Who's punching blood? Well, there were diamonds, weren't there? I mean, they were absolute 42 carat diamonds. I mean, there we was, we was drinking with a mourner, never had to put our hands in our pockets, did we? <laughs> what's the matter, brothers? Rodney, what's happening? What's the matter? It's all gone. What? They've leaked everything. Our suitcases, our flight bags, the duty freeze, the locks. No, I don't believe it. I just do not believe it. I mean, we was only, we was only in there half an hour. Well, four hours. <laughs> I mean, what's going to happen now? I mean, eh? I mean, how are we going to get home? Now, Del, don't panic. Eh? Listen, I took the passports, the flight tickets, I took them in there with us. Rodney, oh, Rodney. You are a saint, mate. You are a saint. Well done. Where's the money? I left that in a bag. Huge. Long, Rodney. You told me to leave it. Me? Yes, and you told me to leave the luggage in the bag. Then why didn't you use your old initiative then? I didn't even want to go into that bloody bag. Yeah, all right, all right. Hey, calm down. Just calm down then, will you? <laughs> How much money have we got then between us now? Right, $32, right? Now, what can we get for $32? Mug. <laughs> <laughs> you guys still here? Let me guess. You decided to come back and have that one for the road. Oh, no. I wish we had, Rico. I wish we had. No, we're thinking of going to the police. Why? You got a problem? Yeah. We've been robbed. You're kidding. Oh, well, I wish we was, Paulie. I wish we was. They broke into the van while we were in the club. They're taking everything. Oh, gee, that is too bad. Yeah. God, I feel so embarrassed. You just arrive in this country and this happens? What a welcome. We don't want just one of them things, innit, something? So what are you guys going to do, huh? I well, we don't know what we're going to do. I mean, you know, we've got no money, we've got no clothes, we've got no duty-free. We've got nothing. Just 
gonna have to go down to the police, get them to sort it out. Oh, save your breath, Rodney. Cops will do diddly squat. They don't know their ass from first base. <laughs> what? Salvatore here is a lawyer. Maybe he could talk to some of his friends. Not at the DA's office. Yeah. First thing in the morning. Could you do that, Salvatore? Oh, that would be very, very nice of you, wouldn't it, brothers, eh? Yeah. And in the meantime, you two guys are coming along with me. Your place, Rico. Belongs to my family. Very nice. What sort of business are you in then, Rico? We're in uh, insurance and imports. Oh, what? Imports and exports? New, just imports. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here fast. I'll be right up. Show you to your guest suite. Guest suite. I'm on her feet here, bruv. You see him? Yeah, of course I saw him, and I heard him. What are you doing bringing Australians home, huh? No, they're not Australian. They're a couple of English guys over here on vacation. We put them in the guest suite. Limeys? What are you doing bringing limeys in the mouth? You know that I hate limeys. <laughs> well, wait a minute. What are you doing picking up guys in bars, huh? What is it with you two? <laughs> Get right on your feet. Is it too much air in your Nikes or what? This is hot. These two bozos could be the answer to your prayers. One of them is a dead ringer for you. Even Francesco at the club thought he was serving you. Look, I saw them here on the security monitor. I saw no similarity whatsoever. He's much taller than me, sir. He's a thinner guy, all I got. No, the other one. <laughs> I mean, the squirty little dude with the polka face. <laughs> this is your lucky day, because I'm in a good mood. I'm only gonna break one of your legs. <laughs> because you're a member of the family, I'm gonna do it slowly. <laughs> Come on, Pop, it was dark outside. You couldn't see him clearly. Tell him, Sal. It's true, Donna Ketty. This guy looks just like you. You know, last year I went to the zoo and I saw a camel. It looked just like your mother, but I didn't invite it home and put it in the guest room. <laughs> Joe, there's a guy who looks like me. What's your big deal? I'll tell you what the big deal is. Imagine this guy dressed up in your clothes. In my clothes? What's the matter with you? You're out of your mind or what? We dress the limey up in your clothes, and we take him out to eat at a nice restaurant. Now, while he's having lunch, in full public view, somebody blows him away. This is something I do not advise. Everybody will think that the other families have had you killed. Even the police surveillance team will be a witness. Don't you see what this means, Pop? What? <laughs> In the eyes of America, there will be no more Donna Ketty. No more Donna Ketty equals no more trial. No more trial equals no more prison sentence. And why we mourn your passing, you sneak off to Rio for a couple years. Long enough for your plastic surgery to heal and come back as Uncle, uh... Carlo. Carlo. From New Jersey. You take over the family business. Rico. Sometimes during my life I have doubted that you were my child. 
Sometimes I thought that maybe the hospital had screwed up and given us the baby of a family from Pittsburgh. <laughs> Definitely my son. It's brilliant. It's wonderful. <laughs> it also mean there's one less limey in the world. <laughs> Giving his brother a one-way ticket off. Well, have you had a butcher's at the bog? Oh, he's solid marble, it is. None of that stick-on gear that you get down the old DIY. No, this is the real McGoy. Oh, oh someone out there loves us. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> the Channel 49. Yeah? How many channels are there? I don't know, that's what I'm researching. No way. Oh, we said that you should be a scientist. Don't be bad, can you, hey? Don't let these limeys call home. I don't want anybody knowing about this address. Lurch is cutting all the phones except our business line. So, as far as everyone in jolly old England is concerned, these two guys have vanished off the face of the earth. They can blame it on the Bermuda Triangle, huh? <laughs> or, or the Twilight Zone. Or the Twilight Zone! <laughs> <laughs> Struck gold here, bruv. Oh, no, man. We we'll have to show Rico our gratitude, you know, get him a little present or something. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Hey, we've got no money. Yeah. Never mind, I'll nip him for a few quid. Yeah. Oh, blimey, hey, we better phone in to HQ. Raquel will be going spare. <laughs> oh, the line's dead. What about that? What? Because that's what they do in American films. <laughs> oh, yes. No, it's still dead, huh? Here you go, Derek. These are my uh, uncle's clothes. About the same size as you. Yes, well, thanks, very nice. Oh, uh, Rico, I'm sorry, I don't want to be a pain, but Rodney, he's got nothing to wear. No problem. We got a guy who works here, it's about Rodney's build, he'll lend you some of his clothes. Lurch! Lurch? Saucy bark. <laughs> don't be so ungrateful. Tell uh, Gino to bring up some of his clothes. Piece of cake, yeah, Oh, by the way, uh, the old dog's knackered. <laughs> Oh, uh, a couple days ago we had a tropical storm. Whole area's out. Don't worry though, we'll be back soon. Listen, you guys get some sleep because what's say tomorrow I take you out to my favorite restaurant, Day on the Town. Yeah, lovely jubbly. <laughs> nice little Italian joint. The food, out of this world. Believe me, Del, this place will kill you. Wear the suit and the chains make you look real. This is like... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Of course, this is very me, this, Rico. Of uh, course, back home in England, I'm a yuppie. I mm. know, oh, Rodney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you know? Yeah. Nighty night. Night. He's such a nice bloke, isn't he? They broke the mould when they made him, you know. Look, Del, don't think I'm getting paranoid or nothing, but... Well, did you notice them really tough couple of blokes down by the gate when we drove in? Yeah. And then there was that one downstairs and all. Well, yeah. Well, so what? Well, it's most probably ridiculous, but... We don't think that Rico might be... What? Nufta. A Nufta? <laughs> He's Italian, isn't he? You can't have an Italian nofta. It's a well-known medical fact. Oh, yeah, it must be because he's like, you know, he's a man's man, isn't he? Hmm? I'll tell you what else he is, Rodney. He's a little gold nugget. Yeah, that's what he is, Rodney. A little gold nugget. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bless Reverend? You. <laughs> Raquel, I'm glad I've met you. 
I was going to find Derek as soon as the lorry had gone. Dell? What the Dell's in Miami? Miami? Oh, dear. Reverend, excuse me for asking, but why are you blessing a Romanian lorry? Oh, I'm not blessing a lorry. It's the contents. <laughs> didn't Derek mention it to you? No, he didn't say. Just a minute, has this got something to do with Derek? Well, yes. He did a time and motion study of the blessing of the wine and came up with a novel idea of doing it en masse, as it were. Then I distributed to other churches throughout England. Oh, hell. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a real money saver, especially as Dell sells it to us so cheap. But there's just one rather major problem. It's turned out to be Romanian Riesling. Romanian Riesling? Yes. White wine. The communion wine is supposed to be red. It represents the... Blood of Christ. Exactly. The other churches are returning their cases daily. I don't want to alarm you, Raquel, but you may be getting a call from the Archbishop of Canterbury's office. Oh, God. That's what I keep saying. <laughs> hmm. We've got some action. Give that camera. Is it okay? No, it's a son of one of the gorillas. Wait a minute. Enrico, eh? Hey, look at that. It's like a dream, doesn't it? Perfect culture. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, it's a bloke over there with a the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, pal. <laughs> Who's that, Enrico? Who knows? Tourists, maybe. I'm starving. Yeah, I'm me. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. <jubbly. laughs> 29.30. 2930 QSK. We're on South Bay in Fair Isle. O'Kitty and the boys have just stopped for lunch at Carlotti's restaurant. Copy, 1325 Miami QSO. Don O'Kitty. <laughs> Don O'Kitty to you too. Don O'Kitty. <laughs> I am so happy you have honored me with your presence here today. On behalf of my family and myself, I thank you deeply. It's all right, it's all right. Uh, you know, puskus, puskus. <laughs> I will prepare for you a day. Would you like to have a drink at the bar? Yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much, senor. Yeah, I've got a diabolical first. <laughs> Excuse me. everything to your satisfaction, signore. Oh, that's uh, lovely one. Blinding dummy. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely looking cork, isn't it? <laughs> supposed to test a bouquet. Excuse me, Del. Gotta go to the job. Oh, all right. Do one for me, Sam, will you? <laughs> I've got to go check the plumbing as well. I've got to go too. And me. <laughs> I'm not catchy. Must have been them enchiladas they had last night. <laughs> yeah, no. Any time now. Sorry to interrupt. 
Don't, don't, you're not interrupting. Oh, hurry up, just do it! <laughs> I'd have been like, you know what? I think I can hold it. I think I can hold it. Well, Dale not dying. Dale not dying? Or is he? He not. That's all we got for this part, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe. Notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. We out.